Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The Bible says in 1 Kings, the 8th chapter, I want to read in your hearing verse 56. Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised through his servant Moses. Hallelujah. I came tonight to encourage someone to keep trust in God. I came tonight to let someone know that God loves them. And if you are standing on the word of God, if you have a word for healing, if you have a word for deliverance for someone in your family, if it's your finances, if it's trouble on your job, whatever it is, God, hallelujah, if you stand on his word and trust and believe that his word cannot fail and that he cannot lie, I want to encourage you that you will get to see the goodness of the Lord. Now, if we look at this text, just as God allowed the children of Israel to go through some things during the process, he allowed them to have to fight their enemy. Sometimes you're going to have to fight your way through. Sometimes you're going to have to confess when all around you seems like, you know, nothing is happen happening. You're still going to have to confess what the word of God says. You're still going to have to fight the enemies of doubt. You're still going to have to fight, you know, even the enemy himself with the word of God and with your faith. Hallelujah. We have to fight the good fight of faith and that's what gets God's attention when he looks and he sees that his son or his daughter is yet trusting him is yet believing him is yet holding on to his word I know the Lord gets excited you know why because we are taking him at his word it says in the Bible that Abraham unto him it was he was considered righteous and Noah righteous and all of those that trusted God their faith was unto them as righteousness. Hallelujah. And that's what we want to be able because we have accepted Jesus. You know, that becomes our righteousness. We took God at his word. And that was the first step. We believe by faith that the word of God was true, that he sent his son to die, that they crucified him, that they buried him and that he rose again from the grave. That gave us hallelujah, our wings that gave us the ability to ask God for what we want. That gave us the ability, hallelujah, to be in communication with God himself. Now we're just living out our faith. So hold on to the promises of God for just as he left us this example to see how his faithfulness is. I love the Bible. I love reading the Old Testament because that's where we get to see how God treated the people of Israel, how he loved them, how he protected them, how he fought for them, how he did, you know, wondrous things things for them because why a savior was going to come through them and why for you because in your mouth hallelujah is a word of deliverance for someone when you speak that word then the holy spirit can act on it and that hallelujah he can draw the people unto the lord so keep standing by faith because just as god did it for the children of israel our example i came to remind you tonight god can do it for you keep trusting in god the scripture again says Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise which he promised through his servant Moses. I never want 
to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.